Hi, I'm Hog, this is The Dice, and I want to talk to you a little about the Captain America Civil War trailers. Now, first of all, the trailers look pretty great, and I'm not going to lie, I'm, pr I'm looking forward to this movie a lot more than I am to Batman vs. Superman, which I'm probably not going to go see, to be honest. Second of all, I think Black Panther looks awesome. His costume is great, his action scenes are amazing. I don't actually care about Spider-Man. Um, I am so bored of Peter Parker and the revolving door grave of Uncle Ben at this stage. He's like Schrodinger's uncle at this point. I don't care about Spider-Man. I'm never going to be able to care about Peter Parker ever again, I don't think. Anyway. Back onto my point. There was something that was bothering me about the Civil War trailers. It was something that was bothering me about Black Panther, and I wasn't really sure what it was. I couldn't put my finger on it until Andre over at Black Nerd Comedy, and there, that is the location, the arbitrary location where the link to that video is going to be. Um, when he pointed out that Black Panther seems to be doing almost nothing but chasing Bucky Barnes. And that got me thinking. They might be doing something we really don't want them to do. And for those of you who don't know, Black Panther, T'Challa, is a king as well as a superhero. He's both at once. The, the being Black Panther is being a superhero and being king at the same time. He's the king of Wakanda, which is a fictional African country. Wakanda, in the comics anyway, I'm not sure how they're doing it in the movies, is the most powerful and rich nation on the planet. More powerful than America, more powerful than China or Russia. Wakanda is the source of all of the world's vibranium, which is the material Captain America's shield is made out of. Uh, T'Challa is an extraordinary leader, diplomat, and politician. His words carry weight with the UN. He, he's well respected all over the world. And what I thought was going to happen in Civil War was Tony Stark would be getting T'Challa on his side because of that, because of his weight as a world leader, because of the the influence that this incredibly skilled diplomat could bring to the table in his in Tony's quest for for <laughs> legislating superheroes essentially they would bring political weight to his side but the more i watch the trailers especially after seeing what what Andre pointed out, that he, he does nothing but chase Bucky Barnes, I'm starting to worry that maybe that's not what's happening. Maybe Tony brings in T'Challa, not because of his worth as a political envoy and a, a, a diplomat, but because he hasn't been able to catch Bucky Barnes so he's bringing in the world's greatest hunter. This has happened before where T'Challa has been lumped into that category. Uh, the 90s Fantastic Four cartoon, for example, did that. And I don't think that's a great way to go on this. It's, it's treading very, very close to racial stereotypes. And I don't think it's a great idea, especially when the character is so much richer and more complex than that. Like, he is an extremely talented hunter, but I think his political weight would be more valuable, and to ignore that in favour of his hunting ability, I think that would be a mistake. Anyway, that's, that's what I think, that's what I'm worried about. I'd love to see what you all think, post in the comments, or, or tweet me at a... I think it's at Hog and Dice. If I'm wrong, uh, there will be text appearing here to tell you the right one. Anyway, Hog out.